So I specifically went to the one that said Abbott delivered justice to a snow bunny. I am the alleged snow bunny, which is like something I have not been referenced as referenced as ever in my life. So I think this is the first time someone's ever referred to me as a snow bunny. And I don't really know what that means, except I, it's white, right? OK. Whew, I'm pretty excited. Are you guys ready? OK, in Discord chat I have up. You guys aren't as active, but I do see you. And then I have my YouTube ones. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, hold on. I got to switch out my window. I can't quite see all of chat. There we go. Okay, better. Okay, ready? Tell me how the sound is. Loki, I did slap a white woman on camera. Uh, <laughs> Come on, bro. No, is I'm that serious. too loud? Yeah, pull it up. That shit was fire, man. Shout out. Is that too loud? To her. Brittany Simon. Shout out to her. That's what? Are you <laughs> Anyways, like, this is, um, Brittany, the snow bunny. Let's go. Let's go, Destiny. Let's go. But like, okay, so is the volume okay? Look at Abba being so sweet, though. Why, why, why? She was doing some kind of BDSM thing, so she was slapping this white dude named Destiny. So I was like, I was watching. And then and then I was like, man, this is not fair. Somebody got to slap you. And, and Destiny's like, I don't feel comfortable. And I was like, hey, what? Destiny, Steven was so sensitive. Like, he, not in a bad way or good way. I love him. But like, he was like very hesitant. I could tell Abba and I, like, I swear when I was hanging out with Abba, it's kind of like a cousin. Like, there's definitely this like... There's like enter where you can read each other really well. Um, audio is funny. Wait, volume is good. Wait, wait, is this where he talks about slapping a white woman? Yeah, this is it. But I want to make sure is the volume audio is funny. What do you mean? Like, am I funny? Is it too loud compared to me? Should I turn it down a bit? Tell me, tell me, tell me. What's up, nigga? <laughs> so I get up and I smack her. And yeah. honestly, it's so weird. Yeah. On her face? You're a hero. Yeah. Right? <laughs> 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 Okay, two things to talk about already. Ingrid in the chat said, if somebody called me a snow bunny, I'd be mad. What does it mean? Also, two, doesn't it just mean white girl? Two, I do want to observe and take into account that we're dealing with a very specific bubble in where the black people are sort of celebrating slapping a white woman. But of course, the irony is that I'm a Syrian, so I don't think it's the same. Like, if you talk about reparations, that's not my people. We didn't even immigrate here until the 50s. But I think for, for the meme, it's funny. Like, obviously, I'm not a white girl, so I don't know how white women feel about this. I've had some white friends express disdain for it because it feels racist to them. But again, I'm not white, so I don't take offense but i think it's fun that they can come close to having this sort of like fantasy i guess of reparations through the slap but the slap doesn't make sense because my people didn't do shit to black people so again it's kind of like it's funny to watch obviously i'm being mentioned on flagrant which i love because i'm a fucking youtuber and i need 10 percent more audience and i want i want to get just a little bit more popular so i can solidify my career but i don't want to be famous so i'm kind of excited that i'm being mentioned but at the same time, it's like, it is there's a lot of bubbles here, right? Um, Trey says, snow bunny means an attractive white looking girl. <laughs> okay, then I will take snow bunny as a compliment. Thank you. Gosh, son. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Pull this up. Hold on. Run that. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like Al's sudden anti-white woman hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Shut up. Come on. <laughs> you love white. See, like, they're, like, having a moment. There's, like, a little bit of a bubble difference here. Here's Akash being like, what is this? But it's, like, it's funny. It's cute. It's harmless. Like, I can't take offense to it because, again, like, I don't, I just think it's funny. Women, okay, hold up. You know what, though? I've talked about this before. This <laughs> episode. Oh, I, I don't know if you're... <laughs> hold on, hold yeah, on. You, 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 is it in the video? Yeah, it's in the video. Okay, let me pull it up. Hold up. Uh, oh, you, you this is what I'm going to find. Yeah, yeah, you'll find it. It's not that, it's not that deep. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here? See where it changes color? You know I might be a little bit back. But anyways, um. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, oh this is crazy, bro. You're a wild dude for this, bro. That's me. That's me. Yes, I want to see this. <laughs> uh, no, hold, on. Oh. hold on, hold on, hold on. I like how the European Molina had no idea how to react in the white passing destiny. He's like, huh, huh, and me, then me and Abba are just like, huh. I don't know, there's something fun about it. I really want Flagrant to ask me to come on so we can all have a slapping contest. I think it'd be so fun if like everyone just slapped the fuck out of each other. But again, like maybe that's, you know, maybe that's not what's gonna happen because like it's too controversial, but we'll get into that. <laughs> Hold on. But we don't Post see it. What the fuck oh, is that? So disappointed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck is that? Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's the full clip somewhere else on YouTube. You Amazon. blue pill cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're so blue pill. That was for me. It wasn't for the audience. You feel me? Cock. And I want to stay monetized. Yo, that is the most. I want to stay monetized. I gotta make my I money. I think you slapped her. Oh, dude. I think you did this to make your community happy. Make you dude, think you don't like white women. Don't touch that hand. I haven't watched it, dude. I haven't watched it, dude. That's ridiculous. 
I can't believe that. So I take I take back my honor. Yeah, that, well, was, that was hard. That was crazy. I mean, you pull up the clip. I just don't want it to be demonetized. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's for YouTube. But if ABBA is really good at playing the monetization game. And one day, if I'm ever really serious about my job, I might do it as well. But it's true. Like, I showed it on my channel. Like, the whole live show is on my channel. The slap is on my channel. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm not a very demonetized or not a very monetized channel as it is. But again, I'm curious about your thoughts. Like, does anyone feel a particular way while watching this? Is there anyone who feels like offended? I just can't feel offended at any of this. And I think it's all just really like a lot of good humor fun. Because again, like, yeah, Abba, uh, Knives says never washing that hand again. Abba saying he hasn't washed his hand since. Like, y'all know it's for the, like, it's for the, the entertainment. Like, obviously he's washed his hands. So like, it's a joke. It's like, it's like, it's like, oh, that's funny. It's like when feminists say they're drinking male tears. It's like everyone's just trying to get up. You know, they're having a moment. They're memeing. It's not a big deal. Like, that's what I'm trying to say is like, that's why I think it's funny and not, it's not harmful because again, I'm. There, there, there's nothing really serious happening here, right? If you guys want, just why would be demonetized? He's giving you permission. <clears throat> Even if you give me YouTube, you know how YouTube be. <laughs> how does YouTube be? <laughs> you know how YouTube be. Look at your face. Yo. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy. Bro. I'm like, bro. Bro, hold, like the hold, hold up. Hold up. Yeah. I don't know if you've had this, but Wait, I Wait, like there's got to be a video somewhere. There's no I video of it anywhere? Out. No, there is, there is. You just go on YouTube search and you go... No, keep going, keep going. Just go on YouTube search no, yeah, yeah, yeah. and slaps. Mark, you got to find that shit, dude. That was crazy how you cut that out, dude. Why are you censoring yourself? You know... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Blue pill. Yo, yo. Uh, For real, man. I think this is the full thing. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, just skip ahead. Yeah, the set looks a little gets, Look at this. <laughs> yo. Oh, so she slaps <laughs> Destiny. Yeah, she slaps him. I mean, uh, are we that, running out of things to do to be funny? Was that a do? <laughs> so he slapped, she, she, he got slapped, nah, and I, so I jumped in afterwards. And then this is where you said, we want vengeance. Okay, here we go, here we go. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, I have a w. Uh, yes, I want to see this. Okay, okay. see, this is for you. I want this it. This is the highlight of my career. <laughs> okay, this is how you guys get wait. quality in my show. Oh, no, look at Three. Steven. Did you see Steven say, wait, it's because Steven genuinely was like, wait, are we doing this? And like, that's the thing is that, again, in my bubble where I grew up, like I was, um, like it, it's all in good, as long as everything's in good humor. I'm obviously consenting. I'm obviously enthusiastic. I'm obviously thinking it's funny. And the reason I slapped Destiny was for the views. I'm not even trying to play. Like I'm not like here for the views. Like I absolutely, like I'm not much of a, of a clout chaser, but I, you know, on occasion might be like, hey, that's a good idea for views. And it's within my values. So it's within my values to like slap Destiny on stream and have Abba slap me and do all that stuff. Um, so again, it's like, it's like fun. But I can see how some people might be like, oh, my gosh, you're going to get canceled. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, Knife says it only has a sexual undertone because Britney screams, I can I consent after. Uh, uh, and because Alex says it has sexual undertones, though. The slap has sexual undertones. I think people also think all BDSM is sexual, which is like a problem for somebody like me. But I understand from vanilla bubbles why everyone always thinks that. Um, you know what I mean? Two, one. Oh, yeah. oh. I thought you can't show that. You can't show that. But again, yeah. oh, you've done that. So FYI, Flagrant posted this clip on their Instagram and it got taken down in like 20 minutes. So there is some TOS around this, which I think is sexist and very, like very misogynistic. Because think about it. It's a slapping thing. It's not sexual. You can call it BDSM, but it isn't actually real BDSM. It's like fake BDSM for vanilla people that don't know what real BDSM is. So the way you play it up on YouTube is like, one, it is consensual, but if I, it was just two guys having a slapping competition, that wouldn't be against TOS. But because I'm a girl, now it's against TOS, maybe. And then on Instagram, it's like, oh, like a guy slapping a woman. But again, if it's consensual and it's for fun, I think it's more a reflection of like sexism in some way. But I also, I know it makes sense because people aren't used to it. I remember when I was at VidCon, I was hanging out with all these like friends and um, this guy, we were talking about slapping people. I was like, slap me, bro. Like, do it. I like being slapped by the right people. When I consent and when I like you, I like it. If I don't like you, I don't even want you touching me or breathing on me. But if I like you, I will consent to you slapping me. And so when I was at VidCon, like, I consented to this man I had just met to him slapping me in public. And he did. And people thought it was a big deal. But again, as, like, a pretty masochistic person who does non-sexual BDSM, I specifically practice non-sexual BDSM when I'm doing it. Um, unless my partners negotiate for a sexual thing, then maybe I'm open to it. But it is one of those things where no one in any bubble who isn't in that bubble is going to get it. 
No one's going to believe it. No one's going to make sense of it. So you have to play to the bubble you're in. And I do consent to this. I thought it was funny. It was great for views. It was a fun moment. I trust ABBA. Like I trust him. And because I trust him, I do trust him to slap me appropriately, right? The same way that Steven trusted me to slap him appropriately. And that's the difference is I think people are so devoid of trust. They can't imagine the scenario can happen within a trustful relationship. But like, like I said, I did trust Abba to slap me. I would not have consented to that if I didn't want to. You know what I mean? Have a force. <laughs> 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 he was too comfy with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the red light came on. <laughs> yeah. You done that before. Hold on. Hold on. So that's great. He... No, I mean, so I just want to picture experience, son. I mean, it was experience. Uh, one is consensual. Two, you know, she slapped the dude just before, so everyone's on board, okay? Wait, you know what, what does I'm that saying? mean, though? An eye for an eye does not make a. Yeah, what happened to turn the other An eye for an eye means you turn off the lights. Turn I don't know what y'all be telling you, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> that was lit. That was crazy. <laughs> I was too excited about this. Yeah, I yeah. love it too much. This excitement's wild. Nah, I don't know what that is. What is her reaction? Hold up. What did she say? She's close. She's close. She was fine. Why, do you wish you could have done this to most of your ex-girlfriends? Uh, never, never, never. <laughs> Is that the problem? <laughs> never, <laughs> never at all. I mean, getting on your nerves and stuff. What never. What do you mean? She slapped you. It's essential BDSM. Yeah, yeah there you go. She said it afterwards, okay though. It. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, you can stop it there. But yeah, <laughs> she said it. Consensual BDSM. It what is consensual. Wait, why, why do we stop it there? Do you start slapping the shit out of the neck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and she wanted a tart, you know what I'm saying? Got to keep it going. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. Motherfucker, what how you can think? you slap, dog? Yeah, for real. How can you well, slap? Mm. You guys think it's that crazy? It's yes. crazy. Boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is Okay, now they're going to talk about how it's crazy and, like, this is, like, wild. Even my, like, family and friends, some people who saw it were like, I can't believe he took the res risk of slapping you. There were some people in his comment section saying, just wait, Abba, in two to three years, Brittany is going to, like, me to you or something. And you know what sucks is, like, yeah, I think if he slapped a white woman, maybe. <laughs> But he didn't. He slapped a white passing woman who, like, grew up in a different cultural background, who, like, being physical was just kind of, yeah, like, either, you know, contextually it could be abusive or contextually fun or contextually, like, BDSM. But I've been, um, like, I've been in situations, right, where I've been unconsensually slapped on the face by a man. And it's very different than when you're consenting. Obviously, he didn't even slap me that hard. Like, he was, you know, he was slapping me for the stream. It's very different. Um, and it was so fun. And I'm so glad that I got to do it. Because it is fun. It is fun to say, like, oh, like, this random thing happened that was really great. And in that moment, I got to share this moment with Abba. Like, I'm glad that we got to share that moment. And then afterwards, if we do something different moving forward, it is what it is. But in in the moment especially, like, yeah, it was just so much fun. See how fun is a big part of the equation? And I think a lot of people aren't going to have fun doing this. I know a lot of my female friends or a lot of my male friends, like they don't like to be touched. It's not fun, but that's great for you, right? What I'm hoping to do with moments like this is to open up the possibility that all of us can have fun in different ways. Like, and that's, that's really the point of all of this, right? I, I, I'm, I know myself. I know myself well enough to not put my friends in situations where they would be the bad guy in three to four years. So, yeah, I'm absolutely not going to me too, ABBA, right? Because I know myself well enough to know that for the next two to three years, I'm going to find this to be a great story. And maybe we can open up a dialogue around it. You know what I mean? Um, uh, Alex says, what about the people saying, I don't care, you're white passing? Yeah, that's true. I am objectively white passing. And at the same time, to like white nationalists, I don't think I've ever passed with them. Or maybe I have and not realized it. I don't know. Who knows? But the point is, is like, it doesn't matter what matters is that this allows us an opportunity to open dialogue around these things. Yeah, there are some people who are going to call me a pick me. There are some women who are going to be like, you just let him slap you because like to get on your, his good side. No one ever thinks that maybe just some women like consensual slapping. <laughs> like maybe it's just funny or for the meme or I want to do a slapping competition with somebody where we do rock, paper, scissors, and then we just slap each other's hands as hard as we can. And then the weaker person, that's the gauge of how hard the other person slaps. I think that's the most fair way to do it. That's how I do it with my siblings. So we play rock, paper, scissors, slap. Like as siblings, we do this, right? But we, you can only hit as hard as the weakest person can hit. So you can't actually use your full strength if you're stronger because that's not fair. So again, you know what I mean? Um, 
Shower says, I'm glad you slept Destiny. He's had that one coming. I wish I slapped him harder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, says, um, Snow Bunny is like calling someone a gold digger or a tag chaser. It's definitely not a cute thing to be called. A white woman that specifically only dates black men often comes with a stereotype. Oh, wait, is a Snow Bunny a white girl who dates black guys? Is that like a thing? See, I don't know what bubble this is. So again, bubbles. I don't know what language means in different bubbles, right? Um... Well, Nina says white passing is such an American thing, y'all. The whole country is so focused on people's skin colors, saying we, that we shouldn't judge people based on skin color. Makes make it make sense, literally. America's so racist, we can't help but be racist, no matter what group you're in. It's just how it, it's just how it goes. The context, Higher, but you know, it's yeah, in, well, culture, and, and, in the context Yo, of maybe she slapped the, to treat women like shit. In the context of she slapped the dude just before, and then afterwards it was her turn. What's the issue? What do you mean? What's the issue? You slapping a retarded person. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's crazy, Yo, bro. Nah, I gotta take off my, my girl. That's my girl. That's no, my girl. That's so, my girl. Guys, big Daisy and Please note that Andrew called me retarded and then Abba right away was like, nah, that's my girl. That's a homie. That's a friend. That's loyalty. That's nice. But also, I know Ab like Andrew doesn't really know me. But like, look at the tone change after we get back from break, right? But I can't be offended because like I get it. I call people bitches and retards all the time on my channel, so like I'm not offended. But I think it's nice that Abba was like, "Yo, that's my girl," because like <laughs> it's hard to make friends in this in this industry. Thank you, Akash. Go see Akash. Sub, you do I don't need a time. What is BDSM? Like spanking a She's girl? She's Canadian, like, huh? Yeah, it could be that. It could be tying folks up. You do I don't need to tie nobody up, bro. I feel like that's for dudes that are not strong enough to hold a girl. <laughs> this is a really funny point from Andrew Schultz. But also, um, uh, we're going to watch the whole thing. We're going to watch it. Because they do talk about me um, throughout the thing. But in particular, look at Andrew's bubbles being um, burst. Recently, him, Akash, the team, went to Burning Man. And Andrew was like, Burning Man's amazing. And I'm sitting here like... The Burning Man stage, we love that. Like, there's always a stage you go into when you're finding out, like, what is the meaning of life? Where you either go to Burning Man or raves, or you go to Burning Man and BDSM dungeons, or you go to Burning Man or something else, like a nudist parade. I went BDSM um, nudist parade, but they went to Burning Man. Andrew Schultz loves Burning Man. Burning Man has a sex dome. They have BDSM. They have orgies at Burning Man. So, like, he's not far off from being a BDSMer. He just doesn't do BDSM because BDSM is a specific lifestyle as well as a kinky pastime, right? Depending on your bubble. So watch Andrew, who loves feet. Watch Andrew, who loves Burning Man. Again, be confused about something like BDSM when, to me, they're all the same. They're like siblings. BDSM, Burning Man, orgies, nudist parades, they're all siblings and they all do different things. But it's all about freedom of choice, freedom of expression, freedom to use your body how you want, right? <laughs> I don't you know, if your girl's like tie me up please she's saying have you, cock. <laughs> have you see also they're not thinking about shibari they're not thinking about the art of rope they're not thinking about models who do rope they're not thinking about suspensions they're not thinking about hook suspensions they don't know the capacity of bdsm so they only judge it on the surface which you cannot blame them for this is their bubble but when you come into my bubble and i can hold your hand and drag you into a dungeon and be like look at everything else you could be doing with your life like andrew schultz had his mind blown by burning man schultz schultz by burning man i would love to blow his mind at the dungeon you know what i'm saying you never seen them hog ties say again the hog ties but what's the difference between that I just mean, grab your girl. How much do you love pig, bro? Are you just trying to hog tie, eat yeah. bacon? Yeah. 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 You love hog tie. I'll catch you, honestly. <laughs> but yeah. No, good. I don't understand that. Like, the, the whole idea, I really genuinely think if your girl has, like, a rape fantasy with you or won't, needs to be tied up or oh. beaten, she doesn't think you're strong enough to actually do it. She's like, oh. Actually, I think it's the opposite, that they know you're strong enough to do it and the fantasy allows it to be safe. Right? So like being tied up could be about texture and sensation like it is for me. I don't like sitting for rope. I'm not a very patient rope bottom, but I like the way rope feels on my skin. I like the way it hurts. It doesn't hurt the same way as skin. It's not just about being tied down. It's also about texture and smell for some people. And I understand for vanilla people who just like, like you know, basic sex with an occasional kinky time, Again, this might be different, but for me, I like rope for all the benefits of rope. Also, fulfilling CNC, consent, non-consent fantasies, involves like risk-aware kink and then safe, sane, consensual, hopefully being played into it. But you're really just asking your partner if you would like to add something in that brings a different, like a different relationship with the self 
You know what I mean? It's like a different relationship with the self, the different relationship with your partner. Um, I learned a lot about myself being tied up. I learned a lot about myself being restrained. I learned a lot about myself when my friend shoved me into cages and locked the door. I learned a lot about myself when I was put in situations where I had to fight my way out. Again, for some people, BDSM is about meditation and learning the soul. And that's what it is for me. It's spiritual. It is not sexual. But I do like BDSM with my sex. I just don't usually like sex with my BDSM. Um, unless my partner's really into it. You know what I mean? I'll help you, Timmy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to help so you. But no, isn't that like, that's the most emasculating thing ever. If your girl goes, can you tie me because you're not strong enough? <laughs> Maybe she just into that I don't shit. know if it's that. Like, Why she got me into that? The same way you into feet, nigga. Like, <laughs> what you talking about? I, I mean, I tie her feet up. <laughs> I tie her feet up. I love that Andrew has this thing for feet. It's a big, you know, meme on the channel. Uh, I get it. I like feet too. I've sucked them. I've fucked them. I've done a lot of things with feet. Oh, you know what I mean? I get you. But at the same time, how you utilize that kink or fetish into feet, depending on how you define it, well, that's a different relationship with the self. Why are you doing it? I like it for the humiliation purposes. He might like it for like some other aesthetic reasons. Like it's a pretty foot. P.S. Why am I not on wiki feet? Can someone get on that, please? I need to show my feet more, apparently. Um, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll tie your feet up. Take this no, side. Do it right now. Do it right now. You've never oh, fucked with... Hold on. Let me, let me you've put never, them beads in between these. You've never fucked with... Oh, no. You've never like fucked with uh, handcuffs or nothing? Hank, no, like, I don't need that. I, I could, Nothing is not necessary. You, it's you just add an extra thing. Yeah, but you never just went like that? I have. Okay, so why do you need handcuffs? Because sometimes you want your hands elsewhere. I also don't have the same relationship with the police that you do. <laughs> maybe there's this like, weird thing that you want to experience. You're like, yeah. I'm in charge. Because it's taboo. <laughs> No, but, and I understand Andrew. Andrew's right. You might not have the desire for it, but that's why it's so important to have these conversations with your partners because your partner might make, wake up like, you know, and be like, yo, what about furries though? What about BDSM though? What about this though? What are you open to? What are you interested in? Um, I don't think his girl went with him to Burning Man. I think it was just him and the boys, which is kind of interesting. And again, the this is the, guys, this is the greatest moment in my career because this is the ultimate bubble bridging, right? Because Andrew is like liberal, but he, and he's kind of like, like he can get along with ABBA, but they, and they can kind of get along with Fresh and Fit, but they kind of disagree with Fresh and Fit and they agree more with ABBA. But then ABBA is more open, obviously, because he is like me as a friend and Preach as a friend and all these things, right? So this is like a bridge the opportunity for us to be like, yes, okay, so you do it this way and people do it this way. And like each way is different for everybody and each way is okay. You know what I mean? Like I have no problem taking the sacrifice of being the white woman who gets slapped by the black man. If it helps us bridge these gaps, no offense to the white girls that I'm throwing under the bus right now but maybe it helps bridge these gaps of understanding like maybe we get to live in a world where women get to consent with how their bodies are being um, utilized maybe I actually get to live in a world where I can use my body how I want or maybe we continue to let society punish me for being on OnlyFans or getting slapped or being on YouTube even like I know some people that wouldn't even want their wives on YouTube because everyone's in your DMs it's like or maybe we can live in a different world or maybe not maybe just a different bubble right how can we join our your Discord? Do you see the cute little picture at the screen that says join Patreon to join Discord? Discord is a paid Discord because it weeds out all the trolls. We have a really good ecosystem there. I'm not going to have it fucked up by people coming to troll. But also, um, it's $10 a month because it helps fund this channel. So if you guys want, I would love for more people to be on the Discord. Um, you know what I mean? It saves everyone money, but also it helps me. I would love you guys there. We have a lot of events this month. We're doing some anime um, criticisms and viewership. Um, or view we're watching anime and like reviewing it and talking about philosophy. We're going to have a discussion about the movie that I feel like popped all my bubbles. You guys know how I talk about this infamous movie that popped all my bubbles. We're, we're going to discuss it on the Discord. We're going to watch it off the Discord, discuss it on the Discord. Um, we have a bunch of events coming up. So yeah, please join the Discord. <clears throat> the very Canadian thing to do is just let a black dude slap you as a white Whoa, whoa, what oh. do you mean? Oh. I just, I'm so apologetic. Oh, reparation. Like, we owe you everything. No, that's See, I'm not a white woman, but this is the assumption. They're like, oh, maybe I'm a white woman who's like, please slap me, black man. Put me in my place. But I'm a Middle Eastern woman who, like, lets people pretend she's white because it fits a narrative, right? Like, if it makes the narrative, like, if it moves the conversation forward, like, I don't care. But, like, in America, I am erased. Like, Black people and white people are just as narcissistic as one 
in the, of uh, like each other because there's always like are you white or are you black there's never like are you middle eastern west asian east asian like are you not something different right so obviously my people get erased and ignored because the narrative is so loud on the black and white side that like we are ignored which i don't care because again given the opportunity it could move the conversation even more open like maybe i get there and everyone on flagrant slaps me and then at the end i go does it matter that my parents are immigrants and you can't get reparations for this it kind of ruins the thrill of it though but this is the first time this conversation could be opened up because i do think my white girlfriends probably wouldn't let a man slap them because i think they have um they have this arrogance of thinking they're white like they're important <laughs> I think that's what it is. They just do. They're like, I would never let a man do that. And I was like, okay. But like, it doesn't say anything. Like, it doesn't say anything. It's not like he can hit me for my whiteness. I don't have whiteness. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's only, it's just funny for me. Cause it's like, the irony is so loud to me. Like, this is a great opportunity to pop bubbles. You know what I mean? I thought Abba knew you were in white. Well, I'm white passing and that's good enough for most people, right? No one here is questioning um, my whiteness because I am white passing. So it doesn't matter that I'm a Syrian. What matters is that I'm white passing. And so they get an opportunity to like have this conversation now that wouldn't have happened before because I just don't think white, white women would let it. Look at Melina. Melina wasn't participating. Why didn't Melina join in on the slap fest? Why wasn't Melina eager to be slapped? Why wasn't she like, I want to slap somebody? She didn't. I just don't think white women are as open to being a part of the joke. I think they always feel like they are the joke if they're in something like this, which is why some women are like, you're being such a pick me. You're letting men talk to talk about you this way. But to be honest, like what way? Maybe this is the only version of Britney that they want to get to know. Maybe like I could be offended, but what am I offended at? What has happened that is offensive? Even Andrew calling me retarded, like how is that offensive? You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't, I just don't feel that way, but I can see how some people might feel that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, y'all weren't in Seattle? Think Americans are cucks? No. Y'all are the bigger no. cucks. <laughs> y'all are the biggest cuck. Well, you biggest think you're cuck. bigger cucks or we're bigger cucks? <laughs> Canadians. I don't think it's close. Dude, that's a good question. Do we have a world cuck? Yeah, <laughs> should we just be like put just, put, put just, everybody's just, girlfriends out there and see who reacts faster than some other dude trying to fuck them? <laughs> That's a crazy competition. Just a bunch of Finnish people like hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Delightful. It's a wild convo. But but in all seriousness, ah. when you look at yourself as a Canadian person, yeah. and then you look at Americans, do you feel you are better at? people fucking your wives <laughs> and you watching them or are we better at people fucking our wives mm -hmm. than we watch them? I feel like y'all produce all the cuck porn I've ever seen. Whoa. Am I lying? Whoa. Think about that. Who else produces cuck porn other than America? We Ooh. probably produce most of the porn. I mean, I think you guys are like so. you only got 30 million people, bro. And I haven't seen one Canadian ever produce any of that shit. How do you know they're Canadian? They're the ones sitting in the yeah. chair while they're watching. All I know is, all, yeah. you know, we, we got we got pro porn. We, we got porn studios. Isn't that the name of the Vancouver? And I never, I never see what's. Maybe you're right. What? Say it again. Isn't bro. it the Vancouver hockey team? What's their mascot? The Canucks. Oh, Isn't that what you guys damn. called it? The Canucks. Um, Barbara says I don't think it's offensive, but I think it changes the power balance of the convo. They are now just talking about a fantasy rather than the reality of a black man hitting a snow bunny. True. So that is true. Like, he's not really hitting a snow bunny, right? Like, if we're defining, are we defining snow bunny as attractive white woman or a snow bunny as white woman who dates black men? Either way, like, they're not hitting a specific, like, I'm not that trope. I'm also not a crystal girl, but Destiny gets to go on his Discord, or not his Discord, his YouTube channel and tell everyone I'm a crystal girl. But I'm, I'm not a crystal girl. I'm not any of the tropes that people think I am, which is why when they, know, like, get to know me in real life, they have to reevaluate like how they see me. But I also understand like we're all putting forth an image. The image is all they see, like blah, 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 blah. Like I, I understand it's all a bubbles thing. I think that's why, um, why this conversation is so important and interesting to have because it opens up the dialogue. What you perceive to be seeing is different than the reality. Like some people might see them be like reparations, reparations. What the fuck is reparations when you're just hitting in like a, a West Asian lady? <laughs> It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's come. It's funny. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. 
Destiny says, then you have people like Lav and Mr. Girl that try to convince you that they are so that something is wrong with you for liking it. I think Lav and Mr. Girl are the perfect examples of people who might use kink because they're damaged and they're just like fucked up. And so they can't have a healthy relationship with it. But obviously, like I've seen people at the dungeon. I haven't always had a healthy relationship with my BDSM, but obviously I have a much healthier relationship with it now. I think it's a great meditative practice. I think it makes you a better person if you utilize it like a tool like yoga or you can use yoga like a religion and fuck it up. Like you can take anything that's good and make it bad, right? So I just wanted that to be important. Um, uh, Red Max says there's a video interviewing a black girl born and raised in Japan. It's very interesting the way she lives in a bubble where she wasn't um, racialized in any way remotely similar to African-Americans. That stuff is interesting to me as well, for sure, yeah. That's that's how they pronounce it over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, uh, <laughs> I mean that is kind I think of crazy. That's you guys. I think that's you guys. I think you guys are the biggest cooks. You know that not to be true. I believe it. Do you think Justin Trudeau fucks his wife? <laughs> or do you think that there's a guy that looks like Preach that does it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think, Let's I, just I, be honest here, bro. I think Justin thinks about hiring Preach sometimes, and then he just puts on the black face makeup and <laughs> does it himself. You know what I mean? <laughs> if she got a rape fantasy with a black dude, he, he don't have to hire nobody. He, did he brown cooks face. himself. He did brown He did brown face. face. He, did he? Don't, don't was care. it brown? Don't, yeah, was yeah, it brown? Yeah, it was. Just because he wore an Aladdin hat doesn't mean it's not. Um, Z King says I'm very ignorant. Can you explain non-sexual BDSM? I have many times I don't want to interrupt this video to do it, but I also have a BDSM podcast coming up um, to re-help people back into the community and remembering that BDSM can be anything you want it to be, sexual or non-sexual. It's just like a tool, right? It's a tool. Like just because you're going to Burning Man doesn't mean you're going to join the orgy dome, but it is an option. Would you say like Burning Man is just a big orgy? No, but they do they have an orgy dome? Do you know what I'm saying? Not blackface. <laughs> Whoa, was there a black Aladdin's? He didn't probably. Oh. He just put yes. on the hat. It's still, he, he, no. he wore that black tarnish makeup. Whoops. Will Smith was the, the genie. genie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but was there a Wait, Shower says, could you talk about that? I thought you and him were on okay terms. Who, 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 who? Max and Lav? Like, I blocked both of them, if that's what you mean. Black Aladdin. Can there be a black Aladdin? <laughs> you think? I mean, at least stealing the bread, probably, that part. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> no, that was wild. <laughs> Back this way, bitch. That was a wild. <laughs> what? You can do that right now. That's wild. Her name is Brittany. Yeah. Brittany, That's me. this is no disrespect. Obviously, uh, you're into your things, and we're not going to kink. It's called yeah. kink shame, right? Yeah. Thank you. Shame. See, he's not kink shaming me. Kink shame, like, don't ick other people's yum. Like, you can judge, but, like, you know, you can have like opinions. Like, I think it's fine that they're like, what is this girl into? Cause like, honestly, I'm like, what are y'all into, right? Um, I am on good terms with Destiny. I love Steven we are friends. We are good. Everything is great with us. As far as I know, we are perfect. So I don't know what you're relating or what you're mentioning right now. And you're saying like, can you talk about Destiny? I'm not quite sure. I lost the conversation. Um, but yeah, we're, we're chilling. But do you guys see this? Look at them. He's not kink shaming me. Thanks, Andrew. How would you feel if someone said, oh, you liking feet is disgusting? That I kink. stand, you know, 10 toes People have down. said that. I say yeah. that to them every day. People say that to me all the time. Do yeah. you think it's weird that I get kink shame and you don't? I think the feet thing is kind of weird. Why? Why? I mean, it's feet. I mean, the Nah, I like to be stepped on. I like to be humiliated with feet. I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm into feet for sure. I like to step on people. It's a thing. Um... It's weird seeing these mainstream comedians using terms like blue pill. No, it's it's here, baby. Like Andrew Tate, red pill language, it's everywhere now. It's happening. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like see how good this conversation is between these bubbles. Like they're they're like they're popping in different ways for different people. Like I love it. If I could be a cat, like if I had the dream. If I had to think about my career going in a dream direction, it would be absolutely bridging gaps between the Andrew Schultz's, Schultz's and the Joe Rogan's and the like centrist liberal people who are open more so than the because the progressives aren't open minded in the way that these people are still open minded and the red pillars aren't open minded in the same way these people are open minded. Like Andrew is open minded, even with all his judging, he's not really judging me. He's not condemning me. He's gay judging me at most, which I love and appreciate. Touch the floor. They're dirty, smelly. They got the socks on all day long. Yeah. So how it's much better wrong. is it if with all that, a girl still got a beautiful foot? Think about that. There's no such thing as beautiful feet. It's like, it's like what? a beautiful story. That's like, there's like, that's like saying there's like 
beautiful pussy. That's not true. It's like there's uh, the least ugly pussy. Uh, no. There's beautiful. I've never looked at a. a there is b beautiful pussy. There's beautiful dicks. Like sometimes I see a dick and I'm like, that is a beautiful dick. Like there's just no way around it. That is a beautiful dick. Like there are hand models. Like my hands are not beautiful, but there are some people that have beautiful hands. Absolutely. A, a pussy before and been like work of art. <clears throat> I'm just not. This is the best one of all the trash I've seen. Dove is fuming. Wait a minute, hold on. This is an interesting discussion. This is an interesting discussion. It looks like an axe wound. Let's keep it a stick. What, the a pussy? Yeah, an axe Well, wound. <laughs> being that all of us here are with the, the one woman we're going to spend the rest of our lives with, I'm going to disagree on behalf of all yes. of us. <laughs> uh, that being said, outside of the one that we've all chosen, which is the perfect pussy and it looks absolutely amazing, Yes. there have been some pussies in the past hmm. That have looked um, rather abnormal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. I understand the point that you're trying to make. Sometimes you do look at a pussy and you're like, ooh, like, was a guy playing that on the Titanic? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, uh, like, like, what is going on with that little accordion type thing, yeah, right? Yeah. He once said, uh, it looks like the painting in <laughs> Ghostbusters 2, and I never forget that. <laughs> do you remember the, <laughs> do you remember, you don't remember the, uh, That's what, a really good reference. What was the guy's name? Fuck, he started with a V. I feel like Miles would know this. Miles? Van or Vore or something like that. Doesn't matter. Okay. We're moving on. Great, great job. <laughs> great, great. great reference. You know what? He he pulled me into that. I know, right? Yeah, he did. Bombs too. Yeah. It was your name. together, bro. It was your name. Just fucking you together. In the past. I yeah, can't help you guys. Ghost That's Busters like Ghostbusters. Too? Yeah, y'all need to watch more movies. Al's Al only watches black movies. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, like, can we talk about when you went Black Snake Moan on this girl right here? <laughs> uh -huh. like, Absolutely. Uh -huh. was, was, that the, Absolutely. was that the motivation? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Brittany. Brittany is a she's a great sport for going on with that. Oh, Immediately so looked good. out for you. She was like, "Hey, I can sense that." That, that was very that is fucking true. Because I know you fucking bitches on the internet are gonna try to come for my boy, and I need you all know it was consensual. Because it's like you're trying to cock block our fun. Like literally, I just want someone who will treat me like an adult. And in that moment, Abba did that with me. Like Abba took a risk, treated me like an adult, and I'm going to reward that man by continuing to act like an adult and understanding like what I'm consenting to. Like I am so frustrated that we're living in a world where like people do have to be like avoidant of opportunity because of the consequences which is like technically in some areas obviously good but in this circumstance I want the right to be friends with Destiny Steven and not being told that I'm too stupid or retarded to like make that decision right I want to be able to consent to Abba slapping me without somebody fucking claiming I'm too stupid and retarded to make that decision like either I'm a grown-ass woman and I know my boundaries or I'm not now if you're in a state of growing whether you're adult or not maybe you're really mature when it comes to school or work or something but you need time to really know yourself like Mark was just here my brother and explaining that yeah he has a job and he works and he pays his bills but he's not really experienced with dating so he needs more time like we're all on a different journey but my journey I am more experienced than all of you I am older than most of you or at least like of the age where I know better I, Abba and I are friends. We talked like we spent time together before this slap occurred. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was able to communicate with him. He's a good listener. Again, I'm just trying to live my life. I'm just trying to live my life. <gasps> Alex says, what if they paid me 100000 to cancel Abba? Why the fuck would 100000 be a lot of money? I'm going to make 100000 like easy just like selling a book in my 40s maybe like why would i why, why wouldn't i just like make a product that makes me that money why would i sell out my friend who's been so gracious towards me for six figures for one bag like not worth like that would be outrageous like I, like i said i always look for loyalty in my friends but i look for good people and abba's a good person i like he's a genuinely good person so i'm not about to throw a good person under the bus like she consented before and after but if my point is again yeah yes yeah, sure to make chan says it the best way even if you are too stupid to make that decision as an adult brit i'll let you make it thank you that's that's even better that's good sure that you were good yeah, yeah so even if anybody cuts it up she got your back the portion um i cut out the part where she says she consents and i sent that to dr umar so we straight now okay but yeah the video turned out great i'm very proud of it i guess there's a question can girls get in on white boy fun like, as friends, like, you might slap each other, punch each other in the dick. Can oh. girls not get in on that if they're See? part of a friend group? See?
I grew up with a bunch of brothers in which they often tried to include me as much as possible in the roughhousing, in the pillow fights, in the punching fights, in the boxing, in the whatever we were doing. I'm really lucky that I grew up with a bunch of friends that always invited me to participate, whether I was skateboarding or, you know, surfing or doing something with them and very bad at it. At least they would encourage me to go like they never made me feel Even though my brothers, like some of them have Andrew Tate logic sometimes, like they're always like, you're too pussy to join us. So you better either join us and prove you're not or get the fuck out of our way. So they never not allowed me an opportunity to do that. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Like if the opportunity is there, the trust is there that somebody will make a decision that um, serves their joy and serves their ability for growth. I want to be a part of this. I want to do a slapping competition with somebody. I like this idea. You know what I mean? But I need people to be adult enough to have it. Um, Because again, the only people I've ever had issues with, with false accusations, were from women. And all of them took it back like years later. So I am also hesitant, I guess, to participate with certain women or even certain women. I don't want them to feel bad for being left out. Like if you don't want to do it, girl, don't do it, girl. Like don't join the slapping competition. But if you're a masochist like me, how could I miss an opportunity? How could I miss an opportunity? You know what I mean? It's for you Equality. To yeah, that's sex is for you to exclude them and not treat them like one of the boys, you know? Mm. So, now, to your point, I think you might have done the right thing. Now, you can punch, punch a girl in the dick for sure. Yeah. For sure. If you're all just having fun. For sure. Now, just out of curiosity, do you want to... You said you were doing this for equality. Mm-hmm. Oh, please. This is obviously all memes, too. Like, none of this is real, right? The conversation that's about to happen, it's not a real conversation. That's why it's funny, right? Okay, so Barbara says, and I think at the same time he saw you at face value, not as a stereotype. He wasn't thinking, oh, she's a white lady that can me to me. He was seeing you as you. Like, Brittany wouldn't do that. Exactly. Abba humanized me in a way that nobody does. Mr. Girl and Lav, they can't humanize me. If they're thinking, like, Lav went, um, well, you know, all of us have done stuff with Steven, so now I'm wondering if Britney has. I never touched that beautiful bisexual bottom boy bitch, okay? Like, now that I'm saying I wouldn't, I love Steven. He's attractive. Like, you know what I mean? Opportunities, like, before I was, like, fully in this relationship, maybe. But, like, I'm in a really committed relationship, which Abba and Steven were very respectful respectful of when I was visiting. But, like, the point is, just because I'm in a committed relationship doesn't mean I don't get to have fun. Unless my partner, for some reason, doesn't want me to slap anyone anymore, then he can come up and say... We're going to have that conversation. But in general, like, I just, I want to respect everyone's feelings around me, but especially my own. And this girl want to be, I want to be competitive. Okay. Don't take my opportunity to be competitive away from me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, okay, hold up, hold up. Let let, let me, let me, let me clarify. More like reparations. (laughs) Outwardly, I was going out with that. Me personally, I just really want to slap away. Yeah, Get so it. like it's so it, 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 it worthy like there was something that was like so appealing. I'm not gonna lie. Here's and, I, and I know it's not a good thing to say online, but that's the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, why did you want to slap one? I hope that I gave ABBA a new moment in time to reflect on. Like I I am happy, like, especially given my job, and also like my dream is to be someone accessible enough with boundaries to give people opportunities to explore something they never have before. If I'm the first white p- passing woman that can give ABBA this opportunity, I wanna do it, right? If I'm somebody who's like, can bring you to your first dungeon or mentor you in BDSM and like, I have time, I want to do that. Like I I love helping people find their joy. And so again, you're welcome. <laughs> you said I, that you I, hold put on, handcuffs hold, on hold them, up. you said that you've hog tied them. Hold on, I, I have a huge bias against white <sighs> Which is? I mean, you're I, sexually attracted to them? Yeah. No, like, no. Like, you just, hate the control. I'm just hands Like, all, all my craziest experience in life, I've been with white women. Relatable. Really? Absolutely. Because they could throw down a suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once they latch on. They, like, they can, right? Yes, yes. They yes. can. All, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? Who's <laughs> the, I mean, You can't even say no to that. <laughs> I mean, right? like, they yeah, can. They yeah. think there's some maple syrup up in that. <laughs> thing, right? yeah. Do you ever say, tap that <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a not- chance? That is the greatest thing I've ever heard. Brittany wants to be a professional joy enabler. I kind of do. <gasps> That's really good. Yeah, I think I do. I really want to enable people's joy within my boundaries, within my boundaries, within my boundaries. But yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. that. I'm not doing that. Why not? I'm not, I'm not doing that. Why not? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you know, shout, out, shout out to the white queens. Okay. <laughs>
okay? <laughs> I'm not saying you shouldn't, bro. Uh -huh. I'm saying you should do whatever you damn choose. Man, listen, I'm in swampy waters right now. I feel it. You what does that mean? <laughs> so, I'm up to my knees, bro. Yeah, I feel this shit. Right? I'm over here. With <laughs> I'm over here like, damn. You thought the Jew comment was crazy with Kanye. This shit is nice. No, no, you really taking the heat off of Kanye right now. Absolutely. Um, okay. So, so how did that clip not go crazy? Yeah, I, I don't, how did I not see that? How, did, how do you have to promote? Okay, can I say something too? I don't know why I'm so bad at my job. Why didn't that clip go viral? I was thinking I'm gonna slap Destiny for views and this is gonna like, you know, cause I'm trying to make money out here, but also I'm trying to do it within my values. And I'm like, my friends will help me, it'll be great. But how did this clip not go viral? Cause either y'all don't really care or everyone knows it doesn't count cause I'm not really a white woman. I think if I was a real white woman, like a dainty white woman with like, soft features and not a fucking hook of a nose, then maybe it would have gone viral. But because I'm Britney and I'm already in BDSM and I'm already pretty loud and obnoxious, I just don't think it's gonna grasp as many like, <gasps> like it's not gonna do it the same way. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same thing, but that's my point. My point is that, I don't know, maybe I just like, I'm so fascinated at the fact that like it didn't go viral, but also like, I guess why would it unless people cared? But like, yeah, nobody cared about the slap. Hold that. <laughs> is, is that a little disappointing? Are you like, man, I thought that should be going more viral. I don't think it's that crazy. I think in our world today- Did I put it on TikTok? No, it would definitely get taken down. I didn't, I don't put anything on my TikTok. I don't want kids in my audience. So my demographics are older. If I start putting shit on TikTok, it's gonna bring in a younger audience and I don't want that younger audience. Um, Nina says, yeah, white girl with long straight blonde hair. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't get why it was controversial. I just saw it as lols. It is lols. Um, it's just you slapping Destiny and Abba slapping you. Not exactly the craziest thing. But look at the way Andrew Schultz and everyone's reacting. Even my people were like, whoa, you like, this is like a problem. Um, Barbara says if it was Melina, it might have gone viral. Do you think so with Melina's big ass arms and she works out? Doesn't she look not dainty enough? Lily Pichu wanted to put Steven into the Shibari ropes long time ago. That would be, that would go viral. See, that's something that would go viral. I can't sensationalize my life, which is sort of the problem too. It's like, I don't want to pretend like, oh, on a Tuesday, we're having a threesome. Like it's a big deal or like, oh, look at Shibari. It's like, I can't sensationalize what is to me is just a normal day. Um, Destiny says if you pretended to be mad, it would have blown up. Oh. I am very upset that my friend Abba consensually slapped me. Super upset. Please let this go viral so I can buy a house and have a baby. Thank you. With the sex positive stuff, I don't think people really care that deep. Really? Yeah. If, they, if, if this was 20 years ago, I think it'd be a problem. Nowadays. But if, it, now, if it comes out later that I'm out here being white women in private, then that's, I'd be wild. Yeah, yeah, like yeah Doing yeah, it yeah. in public, on camera. That yeah, that's what made it, that's what made like it safe. Consensual stuff like this one. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's that deep. But yeah. it does make people uncomfortable because of the racial dynamics. That is 100% true. Yeah, absolutely. And also, 20 years ago, she'd be managing the firehouse for the Ghostbusters, so there's no other way that you'd be able to slap. <laughs> so there's no way. Hey, see how we brought back Ghostbusters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Baby. Redemption. Exactly. <laughs> We're back. No, no, so there's no way that you, know, you could actually slap her in that case. But you're right. It's almost mm. safer to beat white women on camera. <gasps> Dog says, um, <clears throat> Melina and you slapping each other would go more viral for all the wrong reasons, though. Exactly. So that's another thing I I, I kind of don't want to do necessarily is like I don't like sensationalizing my bisexuality for views. But if Melina and I did like an oil bikini wrestling match where we slapped each other. I'd have to ask my partner, though. He might not like that. Like we're pretty monogamous and that could be seen as crossing a line. But I mean. I mean, maybe we can get Genevieve to step on us. <laughs> and that could be the clip. Like, Genevieve steps on Brittany and Melina. I don't know. I don't know. I feel very neutral with Melina, too. I neither feel like a bottom nor a top when I'm around Melina. I feel really neutral. I feel like, um, like definitely like older sister sometimes. But I feel pretty neutral around her versus um, with other people. Like, I obviously feel like a very strong power dynamic somehow. Um, <clears throat> you and Abba should start some fake beef. Have him hit you. Uh, wait, hit? His car and just a little, oh, love tap. I'm going to do that. Does he have a car? Abba and I can start a fake fight. But, like, that's the thing. Is like, can I really fake fight? I'm so, I, don't, I have the worst poker face. It would just show. Um, what if a whip was involved? I'm, I don't know about y'all, but whips are really dangerous. Like, you could really kill someone or scar someone with a whip. So you, but I do have a, oh, I do have, um, hold on. Hold on. You know which one would be perfect? Um, this one would be perfect just to like give people an idea, but not to actually hit anyone with it. Let's see if I can do it. 
Let's see if I can do it. If I can crack it really good. Ooh, that was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good. One. Oh, that one's a little sloppy. A little sloppy. Oh, sloppy. See, it's not cracking. Oh, ooh, that's pretty good. That, that's pretty good. Like, I'm trying to think. Like. No, I'm not in a good position. I can't do it sitting down. I don't think I have the skill. No, I don't think I can crack it from this sitting position. Oh, just kidding, bitch. But like, this will hurt. Little crack whip. See? But I do have vloggers and stuff. Um... And again, like I'm pretty, I'm okay with my vloggers. Like I could definitely give someone a demonstration. I've done it before for friends, like um, in my past life, if friends wanted a BDSM demonstration, I've definitely showed up with my bag of goodies and like flogged people, paddled, like paddled and given people a tasting. So that's another thing in BDSM. Um, like you can give people like tests, like tastings, you know, like have them check it out, see if they like it. Oh, do you like vloggers? Do you like spankings? Do you like whips? You know what I mean? Where are my pants from? Super cute. Thank you. Um, cider, I think it's called. It's fast fashion. Okay, let's keep going. Camera. Absolutely. Then off camera. Absolutely. Because hearing this story, if she went on her, what does she have? If she, I don't know, if she went to the barn or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. her life is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, how, how does she do her podcast? Like, you know what I mean? Uh, in her barn. In her barn. Turns They're literally, I do not, I live stream in my bedroom, but the connection's really bad because I live out in the country. <laughs> on the camera and then travels two hours uploads it on the whatever wi-fi she can find is she's dedicated right. to youtube yeah absolutely oh she doesn't even have wi-fi at her barn no holy shit yeah, yeah so she's probably the most dedicated youtuber i know <laughs> she literally <laughs> I, I appreciate this from abba i am the most dedicated youtuber i know who makes the least amount of money <laughs> I am dedicated. My mental health takes a fucking beating for you guys. Um, is it okay for you to whip ABBA? That's the question. Vlogging feels really nice. I would I would love to do a vlogging demonstration. Um, I guess, again, pending consent from everybody, including my partner. Because, again, uh, you know, that's, like, kind of a touchy subject for a lot of people. Because like, some people, I don't want to... I don't want to send the wrong signal to people. Like, I'm fine doing a very educational, platonic, BDSM showing... But I don't want anyone to think we're doing like a scene or that they're my play partners because um, I could control people. But ABBA is trolling so hard. Yeah, yeah. totally. 100 percent. Oh, my God. So funny. Literally drives two hours <sighs> to go do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's in like a really rural part of whatever place she's at. She, she seems drives. Somewhere. Wow. Cool. Actually, she is. To be fair. It's yeah, really Brittany. Yeah. Why can't. P.S. If Akash ever checks his Instagram DMs, I sent him one after the Fresh and Fit um, conversation. And now I'm like, oh, my God, he might actually read it. But I meant what I said. Can we get Britney Starling? Can we yeah. can we do a GoFundMe <laughs> to get Britney Starling? Um, I'm going to use that GoFundMe to buy a house and have a baby. But sure, if you guys want to get me a GoFundMe for Starlink, which is actually at my brother's house and does not work as well as Elon says it does. It is not good for streaming. I'm sorry. Either he's using his Starlink wrong or it's just not good because I tested it out, girls. Britney what? Starlink, the Elon Musk internet. You know, Elon oh, Musk okay. Yeah, we can, we can set that up. Yeah. I want to get Britney internet. He doesn't want to acknowledge Elon Musk because he's too Oh, you don't do that? You don't no, know. I love Elon. Cuck. Shout out to Big, was it Big, Big E? Is that what Andrew called him? Is, is that what they called him? <laughs> he called him Big E. You guys can see that cringe <laughs> tweet? Uh, yeah. uh, what did he say? He's like, oh, I'm gonna be hanging out with Kanye, big. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna bring it up. Come but on, bro. Let's move past this salsa, dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> Would you rather salsa or say that tweet? No, 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 no. Can I that. tell you something that's absolutely amazing to me? Yeah. And this is like a truly, really interesting thing about the time uh, that we all exist. Mm -hmm. That um, you are less afraid to to, mm -hmm. to slap a white woman on absolutely. camera than you are to dance salsa with. Me. Yeah. That's crazy. Dancing <laughs> salsa with me is absolutely terrible. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. Like, isn't that wild? Yeah, yeah. What does that say about us? I'm more terrified of looking gay than going yep. to jail. True. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm bro. telling you, you're more Muslim than you think. <laughs> Yo. I'm telling you. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to jail. I'm good. I have to say that to reassure myself. Jail for a Muslim <laughs> man is pretty much just uh, how you treat your wives. Wait, could I? I can't. I can't 
didn't even get Abba to go to jail. No, I consented. I really consented. I do not want him to get in trouble for this. There's a part of me that's like, this is a joke. And then one part of my brain is like actually worried about my friend getting in trouble. And I'm like, oh no, like I would never want him to get in trouble for this. Like obviously it was very consensual. Yeah. Yeah, like I would never actually want him to get in trouble for this. So whoa, <laughs> not, not he, this guy's what's wrong with this? Except for them, it's not consensual. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? These I used guys. to see reports from like North Africa where these women would get up and they say like, if your husband doesn't slap you, he doesn't care about you. What? That's like a real thing in some parts of the world. Yeah. That's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can send you the video links. <laughs> yeah, that's facts, bro. That's like, crazy. If your husband doesn't slap you, doesn't That's care. Crazy. He should shake you sometimes. So what part of the podcast, I mean, what part of the Africa is this and why are we moving the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need to figure out. You guys are absurd. <laughs> the jokes that you make on women's <laughs> expense. This is absolutely disgusting. Like, honestly, it's 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 sexist. All right, here comes the blue pill beta bullshit. Yeah. No, it is yeah. fucking sexist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I want to go home and I want to watch my wife get fucked, <laughs> I should be allowed to do that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And you guys shouldn't be putting your hands all over women. I, I, if you guys think that shit's gonna happen, you were bugging. What if, what if we just do it sitting down, this whole thing? That's not gonna happen. What if we just like dap up and then. That's not happening. Dap, dap me up, dap Did me up. Did you lose it? Yo, dap me up real quick and then. Oh! We did it, baby! We did You got two guys! Hey! Come on! Blue pill, azul, pastilla azul. Hey, for me. Hey, guys. This has been an episode of Flagan. We're here with the great ABBA. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's time to go watch the U.S. whoop Iran's us. Absolutely. Can't wait. Stuck in my head, in real life while I'm bed. My belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine. Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me Cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Dun, 